I will explain how to use the inductor loss calculation tool. The inductor loss calculation tool simulates losses and temperature rises for inductors that are suitable for the drive conditions of the power circuit. Even if you do not know the name of the inductor product, you can select the inductor suitable for the driving conditions and compare the loss and temperature rise of the inductor through simulation. These results are intended as reference data and do not guarantee the product characteristics. Let's proceed along the actual screen. First, select the application for the power inductor. There are automotive and commercial applications, and you can choose either or both. Here, select for automotive use. Next, try inputting an input voltage of 5 volts, an output voltage of 3.3 volts, and an output current of 1A as the drive conditions. And for the switching frequency, let's set it to 2200 kilohertz. You can set the ambient temperature, but for now, leave it at 20 degrees. When you have finished data input, just press the simulate button. After you press the simulate button, you will see some inductance values below. Inductance values in red are recommended inductance values based on general design conditions. Inductance values other than the recommended values can be selected. Here, let's select 2.2A in addition to the recommended inductance value of 1.5A. When you select an inductance value, the total loss and temperature rise are displayed below for inductor candidates that meet the specifications. Inductors are displayed side by side in ascending order of mounting area. The temperature rise value indicates the temperature rise of the inductor when mounted on a TDK standard board. The temperature rise of the inductor varies greatly depending on the mounting board. Also, the mounting board differs depending on the inductor. The mounting board column shows the type of board each inductor is using for evaluation. Click the question mark on the mounting board to display the size of the board pattern. A has a copper thickness of 35 um and a pattern width of 1 to 3 mm. B has a copper thickness of 35 micrometers and a pattern width of 40 mm. And C has a copper thickness of 70 um and a pattern width of 40 mm. Since the temperature rise differs depending on the board, it is necessary to consider the influence of the board when it is different in the comparison between products. You can compare the loss characteristics in a graph by clicking the square on the left and selecting the product name. You can select up to 5 graphs, so let's select 5 inductors. A graph of ripple waveform, total loss, and temperature rise are displayed for the selected inductor. The ripple waveform represents the value of the current flowing through the inductor. The total loss graph shows how the inductor loss changes with respect to the output current. In the temperature rise graph, you can check the change in the temperature rise of the inductor with respect to the output current. Please note that the mounting conditions for the temperature rise graph may differ depending on the type of inductor. Next, try changing the environmental temperature conditions. Set to 150 degrees and press the simulation button. Also, select 1.5A and 2.2A as before. Due to temperature changes in the available current value and constraints on the operating temperature range, fewer inductors may be displayed. In addition, some products are not displayed at this time due to lack of temperature change data for DC bias characteristics. Next, I will explain the calculation mode by part number. This is used when you want to check the loss of an inductor whose product name is known. First, enter the product name of the target product and press the add button. The inductor product name and its specifications will be displayed below. I will also enter some product names. You can enter up to 10 product names, but here we will enter 7. The input inductor specifications are listed below in ascending order of mounting area. If there is a product name that you do not need, press the release button to delete the product name.
Here, enter the expected drive conditions and press the simulation button. Except for product names displayed as out of range, you can select up to five types of inductors and compare them in a graph. Here, select three types. We were able to compare the ripple current, loss, and temperature rise for the three products as well as the bi-circuit conditions. Finally, I will explain the conditions when out of range is displayed. Out of range is displayed in the following cases. The selected inductor does not meet general design requirements. In the case of conditions where the inductor becomes saturated, the drive current is too small for rated current. The operating temperature range of the inductor is exceeded. The allowable voltage range of the inductor is exceeded, and there is no set environmental temperature data. For inductors that only have data at room temperature, out of range is displayed when the ambient temperature is set to a temperature other than 20 degrees. Data will be added and updated from time to time. This concludes the explanation of how to use this tool.